Hey guys, welcome all back um, and welcome to the new subscribers guys. Um, again, if you like the vids guys, show the like, share the vids. And if you haven't already, yeah, consider subscribing. I'm sharing as much knowledge as I can, time permitting. So guys, in this vid, I'm going to jump straight into, he's quite special, this this demon. Um, his presence and his energy and his workings are, are, are quite special, I think. Um, I feel that pretty amazing, the demon Marquis Lorae. Um... I'll be sharing with you his sigil, how to get in touch with him for initial invocation, some characteristics, and explain why I'm mentioning some of his characteristics, okay? So, um, before I get into the vid, for those who don't know, I am Primedia Spellcaster. I offer obviously spells ranging from any issue you might be facing in life, one-on-one -on -one consultations where we can either discuss your case, uh, or you have a teaching with me, or a counseling session. Um, I do invocation tarot readings, and I have also, along with Indigo Priestess, a pretty amazing beginners um, chaos magic course with step-by-step -step guides sigil nine accompanying vids it's a great stepping stone for practicing magic and even for those who've been practicing magic for a while but need something different in their arsenal I recommend it okay okay so let me grab my notes to show you guys and I'll start so for demon Maki Lare let's start with characteristics before you might want to give me location okay so I'm gonna mention his characteristics now and I'll explain why. So I find him to be very smooth. His attitude, his presence, his actual aura is very smooth, confident, and that like brave, courageous type, okay? And I mention this because firstly, if you're invocating him, you're doing spell with him, you're spending time with him, these are the type of energies you should be feeling, okay? And if you're not, don't, don't panic. I'm just saying in my experience, this is what you should be feeling. Secondly, when I mention entities, um, their characteristics and stuff, right? Because I've mentioned many times, they all have their own characteristics, their own preferences, likes and dislikes, okay? So, because they are on a higher level than us, spiritually speaking, okay? The more time you spend with entity, in any form of work, you know, just spending time with entity, their characteristics, because it's pure energy, they are energy beings, it rubs off on you. So, for example, his traits of courageousness, confidence, smoothness, will rub off on you as the practitioner. Okay, so that's to keep in mind. Also, he's great in avenging you, uh, a patron of his, those who work with him correctly. Um, he will avenge you like in just about any wrong that was done to you, okay? And therefore, on, on the same side, I suppose you could say, he's extremely good for baneful magic, uh, breakup spells, causing not just random curses to targets, right? If, like I said, if done correctly, you can do it yourself. Or that's when you actually reach out to a spellcaster like myself, who you feel knows what they're talking about. He's good at like um, infecting a target with pain, physical pain, mental pain, um, great discomfort in their bodies, ailments, sicknesses. Um, and also great for breakup spells. If you have targets in mind that you feel need to you know, have a breakup, he's very good at causing them to fight and bicker and, and see shit. Like, and again, that's where the spell work comes in, not just the setup of the spell. But working with such an entity, you clearly voice your um, intention in the spell and you will work it as well with you. That there will be that like bitter fight in that bitter bickering, you know, which causes a breakup. Um, also for the practitioner, like I say, time spent with entity working in a correct, respectable manner. He will grant the practitioner energy, like physical energy, while being and healing. He's really good at healing. The practitioner okay so to get in touch with him you're gonna need two candles one green one black both scribe with his name on it and any good essential oil um, simple offerings that I know goes well with him are grapes apples and wine keep it simple if you want to add to it by all means and again if you want to add to your altar areas printed sigils go ahead but I kind of in, in my practice I insist um, for your invocation, your petition page, right? A4 page, hand-drawn sigil, not as big as I'm going to show you. This is just an example, okay? So that would be sigil, you will hand-draw. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine is not 100% perfect or neat. That'll be somewhere in the middle of the page. On top will be his incantation, which is entity's dialing code. You will call this out quite a few times. There's no set amount of times. How many times you'll call it an incantation. You can check out some of my demo vids and incantation, okay? Oh, sorry, on invocation. So his incantation is Cayman Fifa Larai. Cayman Fifa Larai. It's left hand down by sigil. 
right and facing up that's how you start in the dialing code it's like picking up a phone back in the days you pick it up and you start dialing your hand is down left hand down right hand up um Cayman Viva La Rai, Cayman Viva La Rai, in the flame, eyes on sigil, make sure it's in your muscle memory, see the sigil with your eyes closed, and start channeling that sigil up into your left hand, through your body, up the right hand, and into the flame, and you send in it basically into the ether, and you receive an entity. So in your spoken words, and your seen words, and your written words, you're going to basically welcome entity, call forth entity, grant praise to entity, introduce yourself, and if you want to, you can you can mention basically what it is you seek in front of me. But keep in mind, especially for the first time, keep it as a invocation, a welcoming invocation where you welcome entity and you present yourself and you merely spend that time in his presence and you, you let him know you appreciate his presence, his time. That's important. From there, you know the avenue start opening up. So again, guys, if you do need any spell work, um, or teachings give me a shout and if you do need a spell like this done for you give me a shout and again um, if you want something like there are many entities can do this you know feel what feels great to you or chat with me about it but if you need a couple broken up for example he's one of the go-to guys that's really really good at this okay okay guys be good or not